the laptop, you can uh, open your browser and go to beta.connect.pnl.eu. So you can uh, use the dashboard uh, with me. Uh, so I'm already logged in. And in the first page, you can see all the communities that we are uh, already serving in the dashboard. So starting from environments and economics, for SDS and Greece, we have Instruct, Eric, AGI, the Research Data Alliance, we have many. So not only from the Open Air Connect projects, but other external uh, research initiatives and communities that would like to try out and help us in building this service. So uh, since I am a super user, I can play the role of a community manager. So, um, what does a community manager can do? It can configure the dashboard, so decide which are the criteria by which OpenAir will um, assign research products to the community dashboard, and also to configure the, the look and feel um, of, the, of the dashboard itself, so which pages will be available, um, and uh, yes. The first thing is, of course, the basic information about the communities. So you can configure your logo and you can decide if the dashboard is uh, visible to all, so it's public, or if it's visible only to managers, which is useful um, in the first phase when you are you're still configuring the dashboard. And the most important section related to the content is the managed community content. So here you can select the projects, the content providers, and the subjects that will be used to assign the products for, for this community. So here you have the list of projects, for example, that have been selected for the Digital Humanities and Cultural Heritage Community. So um, these are projects that are in open air, and it is possible, of course, to delete if you change your mind or add new ones. So, you need first to select the founders, and this is the list of founders that are currently supported by OpenAir, but this list is not static. We are going to um, increase the number of founders in this list uh, in a continuous way. Uh, I can select the European Commission, for example, I know that the climbing project <coughs> is a project that is relevant for the digital humanities communities, so I can search for it, and I can add it to my dashboard. So, next time that OpenAir will process um, the content in its aggregation and will find the links to a publication or a dataset to this project, to Clarity Plus, the product will also be assigned to, to the dashboard and to, and to the community. And the same happens for the content providers. As you may know, OpenAir aggregates metadata records from a lot of content providers. In here, you have a way to select which one are for your communities. So, for example, if I search for... Heritage, I can find this data source, studies on the value cultural heritage. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> I have to, to search here. Okay, so I can find this journal, for example, Conservation Science and Cultural Heritage, which I think is relevant for the community, and I can add it. So now on, everything that is collected from this provider is also relevant for me. And similar things can be done with subjects. So in these cases, our managers just selected one subject, but we can add as many as you want. And you can take it as uh, three terms, three keywords, or from control vocabularies. And as I said, uh, you can also configure the look and feel, so which pages are available in the dashboard, and this can be done uh, in this section, manage entities and pages. So, 
to show this, let's enter in the dashboard as a normal user. So you can see in this home page, you can have an overview of what is assigned for your community, so the number of publications, data, software, other kinds of research products, the number of projects and content providers. And you also have an initial list of publications in the first page. So um, let's suppose that the manager don't want to show the other research product box. So it can go here to activate it. You can disactivate it, disable. And now magically, no, it's not magic, <laughs> but, but the box disappeared. So and it can be re-enabled at any time. So functionality that is available for registered users, which are not managers, but uh, registered user, is that of linking. So um, add products to the dashboard, which are not yet available, or add links between existing products. So, um, for example, I want to assign, I want to search for objects to be added to the dashboard, so I select my community. <laughs> But if you want, you can also select other. So, for example, I can also select the Cloud Research Initiative. And then I can search for research results. And this research is performed in, in OpenR, in Postref, in DataSite, in Orchid, and you can also search in all of these spaces. Alternatively, you can also upload a CSV with a list of DOI. And in this way, you can do what we call good claiming. So you have a long list of your eye and automatically they will be all assigned to, to the community. Then we have the monitoring se the section. So in the monitor section, you can see statistics about the product, pro products in the dashboard. So the number of publications, uh, the open access status of those publications, which are links to projects, and all this kind of information. So we have it for publications, data, and software. And, and the manager can decide what to see and what not to see. So if I go to the uh, administration dashboard, I can decide in the section, manage statistics and chart if I want to show uh, the statistics in the public dashboard or not. So for example, if I want to show this graph in the main page of the dashboard, I just need to click here so that when I go back to the home page for my communities, I can find the statistics here. If the manager doesn't like it, I just can remove it like this. So this is a powerful, um, well, it's simple but powerful at the same time to give the freedom to the manager to, to show the view of his community. 